what's happening now. I mean, you know, things weren't exactly rosy between China and the US uh, in the run-up to what's happened over the last few days. What impact is this all going to have on the relations between those two countries? Right. Well, US-China relations have been steadily decreasing for years now. And the trip for Secretary Blinken to go to Beijing was supposed to put a floor underneath that relationship. And now that's not going to happen. So you have to imagine that there are people on both sides who are scrambling to re-establish this basic diplomatic uh, uh, arrangement. But that doesn't change the overall course of U.S.-China relations, which are going down fast for a lot of reasons that have nothing to do with the balloon. China's military expansion, its internal repression, its economic regression, its crackdown in Hong Kong, its menacing of Taiwan. All of these things are putting downward pressure on the relationship. And China doesn't seem to be willing to address any of those to the satisfaction of the international community. So the balloon is just really the straw that broke the camel's back. Uh, but it's going to get worse before it gets better. Mm, how, how much worse? Well, that depends on two things. It depends on what leaders in Beijing do and how the international community responds. You know, here in Washington, there's a lot of talk about getting relations back on track. But there's also a realization, both inside the Biden administration and in Congress, that actually smooth relations is not really the main goal of dealing with China, and that we can't have smooth relations on any terms. And sure, it'd be nice to have a nice relationship with China, but not under the conditions that Beijing is demanding, which is that we turn a blind eye to the genocide, ignore their military expansion, and let their economic aggression go unchecked. So it takes two to tango. And I think uh, until we see some change of behavior whatsoever from the Chinese side, uh, there's very little room for improvement. That's the bottom line.